Muslim TV Ahmadiyya. Normally when you see the channel, you think it's a Muslim channel. The name is also Muslim TV, but they aren't the true mainstream Muslims. They aren't. Alhamdulillah, about eight years back, the first Islamic channel launched was Ikra TV, but mainly it was Arabic. Then we have Majad TV, then we have Fajr. But all these channels, they are basically Arabic channels catering to the Muslim Ummah. They're mainly targeting the Middle East. They are Islamic channels, but you will not call them as Dawa channels. They aren't channels which are propagating Islam to non-Muslims, but mainly catering to the Muslim Ummah. We have other channels which are localized only in Europe. We have other channels which are localized in other parts of the world. What we require is a full-time 24-hour Dawa channel to convey the message of Islam, to remove the misconception what the media is spreading against Islam. I was here a few years back, again, on the invitation of the Holy Quran about Dubai. And that time it came in headlines in the local newspaper, I think it was Khalid Times, that Dr. Zakir Naik calls for an Islamic TV. I had given a lecture in Al-Boom. The topic was different, but in the question and answer session, I said, we Muslims require a full-time satellite Dawah channel in English, which is the international language. We have newspapers, which are in local language, only in Urdu. Who reads it? Only the Muslims in India or in Pakistan. We have Arabic newspaper read only by the Arab Muslims. See, this should be there. I'm not saying this is wrong. But what we require is a Dawa newspaper, a Dawa satellite channel. Alhamdulillah, summa alhamdulillah, I always believe in the philosophy that whatever the project is, don't wait if the project is big. See, we are a very small organization. If the project is big, whatever Allah has given you, start with it. If you have a thousand riyals, a thousand dirhams, start with it. Inshallah, you'll get success. So eight years back, we started producing programs for satellite channel. And Alhamdulillah, Summa Alhamdulillah, we are supplying every day for half an hour to two hours to more than six international satellite channels. Six every day. Not only to Muslim channels like Ikra TV, QTV, ARY Digital Islam channel, even to non-Muslim channels, film song channel, ETC, 24 film song haram, at least half an hour is halal. They see a joker looking person. They see a joker looking person. Who's the joker looking person wearing a coat and a cap and a kufiya and a tie? And somebody is asking a question that why does Islam permit a man to have more than four wives? Ah, abhi maza aenga, now we'll enjoy. And then the reply comes logically and many are convinced. So what we have done, we have always said, this is a material free, don't pay us. Because when we go to, that we have spent so many thousands of dollars producing it, the moment we charge, maximum them we show it once a week. We say, take it free. And mashallah, most of them show it daily. Because they are getting it free. We will get a sawab in the akhara. Inshallah. As I mentioned that few years back, in album, I had mentioned that there should be Islamic TV, a Dawa channel. Alhamdulillah, Summa, Alhamdulillah, you'll be happy to know that Inshallah, Inshallah, in the next two to three weeks, we will be launching an Islamic Dawa channel by the name of Peace TV. We don't have the budget for the Christian missionary. We don't have, we are very small. Small people. Whatever we have, inshallah. We have called it the Peace TV. So the media is with war with Islam, but we are with peace with humanity. Peace in Arabic, salam. It also means Islam. And inshallah, it will be a Dawa oriented channel, initially reaching Europe. Australia, Africa, Middle East, and Asia. We'll be on Pan Am Sat 10 initially. Later on, within a few months, we'll even go to USA, inshallah. And very shortly, within one year, inshallah, we'll try and cover this full globe, inshallah. It will basically be an English satellite channel, but 
we don't want to lose the time which is not a prime time. What is not prime time in Europe and the English countries, it will be prime time in India and Pakistan. That time we will show programs in Hindi and Urdu. So that we also want to cover the non-Muslims of India. So 25% initially will be in Hindi and Urdu. 75% will be in English, inshallah. And I request you to pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that inshallah, with this Peace TV, we'll be able to spread the religion of peace throughout the world, inshallah. We Muslims should basically know how to turn the tables over. I would like to give you one more example before I end my speech. That for the past few months, those people who belong to the Indian subcontinent, and now it has spread internationally, you know of the issue of Sania Mirza. Have you heard of Sania Mirza? Wow, wow, mashallah. See, everyone knows. Why? Because of the media. Everyone knows of Sania Mirza. Why? Because of the media. And the media gave her publicity. You know why? Why? Because she was a Muslim. Not only because she was a Muslim, because she was a Muslim and wearing clothes, skirts and shorts. It happened so that last issue of Time magazine, I think it was the last week of September or the first week of October 2005, she came on front page, Sanya Mirza front page, wearing a skirt and playing tennis. Why? You know why? All of us know. For the past couple of months, the media was giving a hype. The fatwa was there that what clothes she is wearing, the mini skirts is haram. It is prohibited. And there's a big hue and cry. All the media, all the television channels going to Muslim ulama and scholars. Is it right or wrong? And most of them saying haram, haram, haram and blowing it out of proportion. This is what the media does. It uses information and the way it presents it. So non-Muslim will think, what kind of a religion is this? There is a sportswoman and the religion is trying to stop her. What is there in Islam is a haq. We can't change it. What is wrong is wrong. But how do you convey the message is important. Allah says in Surah Nahal, chapter number 16, verse number 125, Invite all to the way of thy Lord with wisdom and beautiful preaching and argue with them and reason with them in the ways that are best and most gracious. When I was given the opportunity, I normally don't speak to the media. I've got my own reasons to the normal media and I'll tell you why later on. I'll tell you why later on. But we normally have a weekly gathering in Bombay where I handle question and session. There are a few hundred people who gather there. And then this question was asked to me. And I told them that you should know how to reply to the media. My first question to the international media is that why are you going and asking the Muslim ulama, the Muslim shiuk, the Muslim scholars, whether the clothes Sanya Mirza is wearing is right or wrong? She is only 34th seed. How much? 34th seed. Why don't you go and ask the Christian priest about Serena Williams? Serena Williams is seed number one. Why don't you go and ask the Christian priest that what clothes Serena Williams is wearing is right or wrong? Why don't you ask? Why don't you go and ask the Pope in Vatican that the clothes Serena Williams and most of the people above Sanya Mirza, 33, majority are Christians. Why don't you go and ask the Christian priest and the Pope the clothes she's wearing is right or wrong? If you read the Christian Bible, the Bible says in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 22, verse number 5, the woman shall not wear clothes that which pertinent to a man, and a man shall not wear woman's clothes. All those who do that are an abomination to the Lord. It's mentioned in the first Timothy chapter number 2, verse number 9, that the woman should be dressed up modestly, with sobriety. They should not wear braided hair or gold or pearls or costly array a christian woman is supposed to be covered you see the example of the nuns how are the nuns the nuns are dressed up like the muslima if you have seen the photograph of mother mary may allah be pleased with her she's completely covered from head to toe only a face and hands up to the rest is seen you go and ask the pope 